Ben-Hur Sepper and uh, Ben-Hur, just like the movie, B-E-N-H-U-R, and that's my real name, my given name. And uh, I'm a filmmaker and uh, I studied in Sweden with Ingmar Bergman. Oh, really? Many years ago, yes, sir. And uh, I did work with him uh, on uh, some plays uh, in St Stockholm State Theater, which is the Stockholm State Theater. And uh, I learned a lot from him. And then I was, uh, I went back to Iran, my country, and uh, I worked there. You made documentaries, made Documentaries, I directed plays and in Iran American Society, and I did some work. And then I came back here, and uh, I've been working here, and recently I've made a uh, short live action film called The Desperate. It's about, it's a, it's a concentration camp drama. It's a story of a German general and a uh, Jewish doctor who is right. a detainee at the uh, concentration camp. And uh, I've been told that it's a very interesting film. It is about uh, tolerance. It's about uh, two human beings coming together, even though they're supposed to be enemies, but they come together and they do something magical. And they, uh, they reach each other as two human beings. Do you plan to make a full feature? Because I've seen some directors, they start with a short film. And that's like a, sh a show in for a yeah, I, full feature. Yeah, I have a, my next project is going to be a feature and it's called The Coin. It's about 12 men who are getting together in a mansion and there's a coin missing. And every one of those men is a suspect, is a very wealthy man. And I have spoken with Behruz uh, Yusufi, who is one of the best Iranian actors. Right. Yeah. And he's very excited about it. and. Uh, I have some American actors, characters, who are very interested. So hopefully we're going to start that next year. Uh, we're going to start in November, December to, to start casting and getting it on the road. And hopefully next year we'll shoot it. And after that I have another feature that I'll do the following year. And that's called The Third Millennium, which is about the teachings of Jesus Christ in the uh, third millennium and how we implement those teachings to our lives. Why do you focus on religion? Is everybody Well, so... it's not a religious film. It's about, uh, it's again, it's about humanity and about tolerance uh, among nations, different religions, because I, I believe that we, we should all get along with each other. And I think that uh, eventually we have to all come together. Jewish, Muslim, Christians, Honestly. they all have to come. And, that's, those are the kind of movies that I like to make with a message about tolerance and love and coexistence. So, basically humanistic. Movies. Exactly. I'm uh, very interested in those kind of movies. What, because what is, we're all human beings and we should all... What is the commercial aspect of it? I mean, do you think you can market this movie? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, my stories are all commercial. You know, they are not like preachy and uh, I stay away from making movies that are preachy, uh, but at the same time, they have a commercial value, but at the same time, they have the message. So if you have a story that has got commercial value and has got a message, so you have covered both areas. So you're not just making, you're not preaching, at the same time, you're not only making a film that is only commercial without any any substance, you know, so okay. that's what I like to I, do. Well, thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank nice you so much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much.